We in English love to invent words and we always have loved to invent words. And this Shakespeare being the absolute master of this. But, um, but the other thing that's cool about English and is different from other languages is that in English we can take a noun and turn it into a verb. We can take an adjective and turn it into a noun. Words slide around in English. And again, Shakespeare was a, 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 is one of my favorite examples of this because it was he who, for, who's t who invented the phrase dog him at the heels. Wait, dog is a noun. How can you use it as a verb? Well, it was in Hamlet or um, Spanieled, I think, Spanieled him. Um, season your admiration. Henry Bolingbroke broke said. So season being uh, a noun, but all of a sudden it's being turned into a verb. And this, some, some people call it, um, I forget what they call it, like a form shifting, you know, where you take a, a word that's one, from one part of speech and you use it as another part of speech, is, goes all the way back to, to Chaucer. It, has, it is part of what we do in English. And I think it's important to understand this for two reasons. One is, again, a lot of people, I'm sure you've heard it, impact is not a verb, it's a noun. It's like, so what? We do that in English, you know? So first of all, a lot of people think that this is, you know, a lot of people act like they know something more than you, and I, more than you do by saying, oh, that's not a noun, it's a verb. We've done this all the time in English. We do it with great abandon in great literature. So that's a, a bullshit rule. I love bullshit rules. Um, so, but the other reason that it's really important to understand this is the idea of invention and creativity. So Shakespeare, by, you know, Shakespeare created metaphors by taking verbs and taking words and using them in a different way. And our best writers do that today, too. One of my favorite passages in all of contemporary journalism is a description of catching by Roger Angel in The New Yorker. And he talks about that thing that catchers do, you know, I can't even do it very well, but what the signals that catchers make at the plate. And he describes a catcher semaphoring a plan. Well, I guarantee you semaphoring is not a verb. It's a noun. But it's exactly, we didn't have a word for that thing that catchers do. And he thought of signaling systems and invented the word semaphoring. In the same passage, he talks about the focus of people in the stands zoom lensing onto the pitcher. Again, not a verb but a perfect verb in that particular context. And he's just continuing on in the tradition of Shakespeare. Muhammad Ali is another one of my um, exemplars of this kind of crazy use of language. That sounds, it's wrong. It's kind of grammatically wrong, but it's syntactically perfect. Um, so uh, this tendency to play with language, to invent new words, to, to take verbs and use them as, as nouns is alive and well today, um, and it should be.